وطهور أبصارها وعلى أهل بيته الذين أرحب الله عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا
Rasulullah, before he appointed Amir al Mu'mini, he recited a very long khutbah. I don't know how many of us had time, maybe once in our lifetime, to go through that khutbah which Rasulullah gave before he appointed Amir al Mu'mini. Rasulullah, when they arrived at that place, did not just appoint Imam Ali like that. The khutbah took more than one hour, two hours, is a very long khutbah. So to begin with, I want to encourage you and myself. Let's take time before Sunday, before you celebrate Eid al-Gadir. Go through that khutbah which Rasulullah gave. If we go through the khutbah and understand the sermon, then we'll be able to understand the essence of a Eid Gadir. Because the khutbah laid foundation for the appointment of Amir al-Mu'mini. You realize that Rasulullah, when they arrived there, because you all know it happened in the 10th year after Hijrah, after the Hijrah to the water of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And of course Rasulullah, before he appointed Imam, he sensitized the Ummah about the right of Allah over them. And he spoke also about the right of other creatures over them. And he spoke about the right of Insan over himself. Then after that, he of course made that famous statement, Mokuntu Mawla wa Ata Ali Mawla. But now you realize on that day, Imam Amir al muminin was, to, so to speak, the youngest companion of Rasulullah. Because on that day, according to history, Imam Ali was 33 years, 5 months old. And you then find Talha and Zabayr, they were 37 years of age. And then you find Uthman was 51 years. Uh, and Umar, uh, Umar was 51 years and Uthman was 55 years. And then you find Abu Bakr was 60 years on that day. Imam Amir and of course Ammar ibn Yasser, he was 66 years. So you realize that on that day, Imam was very young. And Rasulullah, he then went ahead through the decree of Almighty Allah to appoint Amir al-Mu'mini. Here, we need to understand why Eid Gadir. And why do we celebrate Eid Gadir? There are two major philosophies. I just want to discuss only one of them. The first one is to celebrate Wilaya and Imam they said on that day, Allah Taala connected the Ummah with Wilaya and Imamat. So therefore, there is a discussion about Wilaya, about Imamat, and understanding what is Wilaya and what is Imama will make you very strong and very firm in your love for Ahl al Bayt Ali Salat The second one is what I want to discuss this after. That is the day when Rasulullah made it clear to the Ummah that through the appointment of Imam Amir al muminin Rasulullah is telling the Ummah about the protection of the revelation and the interpretation of God. In other words, it is a day that me and you are expected not just to celebrate but to establish affiliation with Quran. Because we are told in the history of Islam and in the Riwaya that Rasulullah, he brought the revelation and he gave interpretation of the revelation. But the maintenance, the sustenance, and the protection of that interpretation and the commentaries of Quran, which was given by Rasulullah, was taken care of by Imam Ali and Ahl. So remember, one of the essence of celebrating Gadir is for you who go to that Bushali to say, what is my relationship with Quran? Do I have any relationship with Muslims? Unfortunately, sometimes one year a Muslim has never opened Quran to read. Riwayat said it is a day when we have to celebrate Quran. It is a day when we have to leave Quran. It is a day Because if there was no Quran, there was not going to be any appointment of Imam Amir al It is about Quran. Therefore, I say, when you go to Quran, Allah wa Taala in chapter 
Rasulullah, after Hijrat al Wada, went ahead to appoint Amir al Mu'minin through the decree of Allah, not for anything but to preserve this Quran and to preserve the interpretation of Quran. Why the Ummah today? Nobody bothers about Quran. I tell you today, Muslims, if we have a greater affiliation with Quran, all the problems you see in the world faced by Muslims will be solved. Quran is somewhere and Muslims are somewhere. If I didn't find the lovers of our debate, we have to take Quran more serious. Why? Because number one, Gadir is telling us about how to establish affiliation with Quran. That's number one. Number two, we have the common rewire that we say when Rasulullah was departing from this world, he said, I give two eighty things for you. The book of Allah and Ahlul Bahad. But today you find me and you, we hold the unto Adul Bayt at the expense of Quran. You find some of the Shias, they cannot even recite Quran in Arabic language. When the Gadir, before the Wilaya and before the Imamat, is about Quran. If today me and you will have a relationship with Quran, we understand. Messages about Al Bayt through the teachings of Allah. Therefore, Rasulullah complained to Allah, O oh Allah, my Lord, my Ummah will abandon Quran after I depart from this world. Your question comes. Somebody came forward and said, No, but today you find, MashaAllah, people are reciting Quran so beautifully. MashaAllah, you have cassette of Quran, the videos of Quran. Be 
be like the people who claim to know at Torah. When we made up Torah, they were carrying Torah. But at the same time, Allah said they were not carrying Torah. Why? Kama said the Himar, Yahlul Asfar. Allah said it's like a donkey that is carrying a lot of books. Yani you get a donkey and then you take many Qur'ans and you place on the back of the donkey and then Allah said, don't you go to the library. What time do you go to in the library? So Allah tabarak what Allah and Quran say, Quran is like that with the Ummah. Ummah they have Quran in their shelves in the house and the Quran is beaten by dust. Quran is ugly opened. What Rasulullah said, any house where Quran is recited, Allah will establish peace in that house. And also there is another verse of Quran where Allah Yeah. 
يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من متكر Allah said indeed we make this book so easy for remembrance يعني if you study it and you want Quran to remind you it's easy you get the best of the reminder then Allah said is there anyone who will deny that can you deny They said the only cure for psychological problem and stress-related issues is Quran. I'm telling you. Because that's a problem you go to psychologists. The least they do is to advise you to stop certain things to do certain things. That's what they can do. They don't inject you on anything. If a push comes, they give you painkiller or something just to reduce it for you to be able to take action. What lie if you take Quran, brothers and sisters, and you make sure Quran is your life, most of those stresses will be gone, I promise you. Therefore, Allah said, for Shifa only Mafisu. Quran is cure for the diseases of the heart and mental problems. So therefore, as we celebrate Eid Gadir, let us all try as much as we can to invite Quran. Let us tell ourselves this year when I celebrate my Gadir, I don't know how to recite Quran. Be frank with yourself. Just be frank. You don't know, you don't know. You cannot go and announce it to the Ummah, you know. Yourself, tell yourself, I don't know how to decide. I want to learn how to decide. One month, two months is enough for you how to decide. And then you start going into the meaning slowly. Therefore, Imam Ali is called walking Quran. Imam Ali is called speaking Quran. Why? Because he understood Quran and he invited Quran to his house. And the best form of thinker, as Allah mentioned, is Quran. There is no remembrance of Allah. Back to Quran. So therefore, let's try, brothers and sisters. This Gadir must be the Gadir of Quran to make the Imam of our time happy. Because when you are told there is a Mushaf Ali or Mushaf Fatima or Mushaf Mahdi, many Muslims they confuse. They think we are thinking that there is a separate Quran for Shias. No, we don't have any Quran. Whoever claims there is a Quran, no, this is Kafir. We don't believe in any Quran as Shias. We believe in the same Quran that Shafi, Maliki, Ambali is using. Mus'haf Ali, Mus'haf Fatima, which according to our riwayah will be brought by Imam Al-Zaman, is just the whole interpretations and commentaries of Quran which was given by Ahl al-Bayt, which is in the hand of Imam, and Imam will use it to rule the world. And nothing else. So we don't have any other Quran. The same Quran the other Muslims have is the same Quran that I invite all of you to We ask Allah wa ta'ala to forgive us, inshaAllah. We ask subhanahu wa ta'ala as we celebrate this day to help us bring Quran to our heart, inshaAllah. If we are far from Quran, we ask Allah wa ta'ala, we are your slaves, we are your servants. Help us to be able to bring Quran to our lives to bring Quran to our communities, to bring Quran to our societies, inshallah. And let the wilaya and the love of Amir al muminin continue to be in our heart until the reappearance of the Imam of our time, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna a'atayna kal kawfa fasalli al-Rabbika wal-Har. Inna sha'ala ata'ahu al-Abtah.
Ali Askari, Ajallah Ta'ala, Farajah Al-Sharif, wa sahalallahu makharajah.
And when I dreamt my father, my father told me, Allah has given me Jannah. Then I asked my father, Wa how? Then my father said, Wallah, it's because of the Quran I've been recited. Because I was asked about my Imam, means Ahlul Bayt. And I did not respond. But what saved me and gave me Jannah is the Quran I recite. So therefore, Quran is something. Today, who recites Quran for us to enjoy? They are not Shia. They are other mother. Whoever learned Quran by Sebshia, whoever you learn from those people. I think it's high time we start becoming very serious about Quran. So therefore, the first point is ask Allah to help you. Spend five minutes every day. Learn how to recite and learn the meaning. Don't limit yourself with only recitation because it doesn't help sometimes. <coughs> Number two, go to the Khutbah of Kadir, which I touch a little bit in my first book, before Sunday. It's life approach which Imam Ali and Rasulullah gave on that day after Hijrah to Allah. It's a long Khutbah. Maybe most of us we have never read that Khutbah. It's about life's course. But as I said, when you read the whole Khutbah, then you realize how important Imam Ali is. Khutbah to Gadir, you go to Google Khutbah of Gadir, it will come. Love the Khutbah. It's not only Adas to Abdullah bin Muhammadin bin Abbas bin Mahmud bin Because you don't ask Allah to give you hajj. 
Labaik comes if you pray and ask him, promise, bless me with much. Then Labaik comes. And we are told, whoever spent the whole year and he doesn't ask Allah to bless him or a hajj, you should know that his lifespan is getting reduced. So therefore, those who have not performed and you are capable, start asking Allah to help you to perform. That's not one. Number two, those of you who have performed and you still are capable of performing, why not perform? Because you don't know tomorrow what will happen. The next day you will be told something else. Visa is this, visa is this, because it's beyond the control of everyone. So therefore, make good use of the opportunity when the opportunities are available. If you have performed, perform again. It cleans you, it prepares you, it makes you a human being, it makes you very strong, it helps you to deal with people in a nice way. Hajj is not only about spirituality, it's about the business, it's about social. You meet business people, you establish contact, you exchange those contacts, you go back home. I've seen people becoming millionaires through Hajj in South Africa. When they met people, they established that relationship after Hajj something else. Spirituality, of course, we don't talk about it. And those of you who are capable of sponsoring others, sponsor them. Help them, let them go for Hajj. And don't stop doing it. Because whoever you sponsor and for the person to go for Hajj, you know your commission in the eye of Allah is uncountable according to Muhammad Jaffa. So therefore, I urge one and all, inshallah, let's all try, inshallah, to go for Hajj. <coughs> and in some of you heard, I was arrested. I wasn't arrested. It's a normal thing when you decide majlis and you have to be stopped. Don't decide majlis. We had two encounters in Medina and two encounters in Malta. But Alhamdulillah, Allah helped us. There was nothing. We came out successfully to the barakat of Ahl al-Bayt al It's all about proper way of handling people. And Alhamdulillah, we never had any other problems. We went safely and we came back safely. So we ask Allah to barakah to Allah. Those of us who have not yet performed Hajj, may Allah bless them with Hajj, inshallah. All those who have not performed, we ask Allah to barakah to Allah to give them long life so that next year they will be among the Hujjaj, Baytullah al Haram. And those who have performed, and they still want to perform, but sometimes something in their heart is telling them, no, I will do, I will busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. May Allah soften the heart and let the heart say, I love to go for Hajj, inshallah. And those of us who are capable of sponsoring others, and we are sponsoring, may Allah continue to give us that strength to be able to sponsor more people to go for Hajj, inshallah. <laughs> Allah.